What's good, YouTube? It's Cheese Fry already here with another video. And I'm going to be using the same clips on this video because I'm trying to get y'all a quick little video where I talk for after the preseason game. Well, we're still going on with the preseason game, but I want to touch on what's going on right now with this offensive line. I'm sorry, it's a lot of noise in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear music in the background or something, but I'm going to try to block that out because it's like anywhere I go in my house, some people's blasting music outside. So. I'm going to still try to get y'all this video, though. Basically, what I want to touch on is this offensive line. Now, we know there's no secret that right now our offensive line is looking like Creed Humphrey, Joe Thune, Trey Smith, Joan Taylor, and Donovan Smith. And basically, what I want to be telling y'all in this video is that the offensive line is actually looking very great in preseason. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably definitely watching the game, of course, because all Chiefs fans are either watching it or keeping up with it. And I just want to say I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing. You know, I'm seeing that even the backups, they're doing very well. So if somebody go down with injury, we know for a fact that we have some some good backups back there that could come in and take that spot. But um, the tackles, because we know Thune, we know Humphrey, and we know Smith are very good players. And y'all keep saying I can't say Joe Thune's name right. I'm sorry, bro. I can't say it right. I don't care. Like, I'm not about to fix it because y'all got a problem with somebody's name, bro. But yeah, them three. And then we already know they're very good players. So that's not, that was never a question. We know Jawan Taylor is a solid player, but we didn't know he was this good. We didn't know Donovan Smith was this good. We know he had a good season with the Bucks, but we didn't know it was consistent. But they looking very, very good. And this might be the best offensive line that Mahomes has had, meaning that it's probably going to be the best offensive line. Well, not probably, meaning that it is going to be the best offensive line in the Mahomes era. So that's a very good sign right there that the offensive line is looking good because we want to protect our quarterback. We paid him all that money and he's worth a lot. So we definitely don't want him to ever go down. But yeah, I love this game that's going on right now. It's actually giving us a lot to look at for our team. I'm just mad that Gabbard missed Justin Ross on that wide open touchdown. That was crazy. Justin Ross ran a sick route. And I'm going to be making another Justin Ross video very soon. Trust me. That might come tomorrow. Or I might have to do Rasheed Rice tomorrow. I'm definitely probably going to do Rasheed Rice tomorrow. But best believe Justin Ross and Rasheed Rice is coming. And I'm going to make another video on them as well. On being a um, duo and stuff. So trust me. These videos is about to stack up and stack up. And y'all about to just see a different me. And the content I'm about to be producing is absolutely crazy. Especially that right now is really a tough time. So I got to push out this content as much as possible, you know. And this is what clears my mind. Coming, coming in like wherever I'm at and trying to find a quiet spot to talk to y'all and give y'all this very good content. That's how I clear my mind. And this is, it's been working out for me pretty well. So I'm going to keep bringing y'all this content. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep grinding as hard as I can, uploading daily. I'm going to try to get some double uploads every day for the rest of the month. That's what I'm going to be pushing for. But obviously, the double uploads is going to be spread out. Like, you've seen how I did Kadarius Tony. Now, I'm making this video. But, yeah, the Chiefs offensive line is definitely something scary. And that's something I've been wanting to talk about. But now, today, they really proved it. And a lot of people was iffy on the Donovan Smith signing. They felt like that was over. All right, it might cut out. They felt like that was an overpay. And then a lot of people felt like Jawan Taylor was an overpay. But I knew that Jawan Taylor definitely wasn't an overpay because I know he's a very good like right tackle. And he held his own against the Chargers in that um I think that was the what? That was either the wild card. No, that was the, the yeah, that was the wild card. That was the wild card because we played the Jaguars in the divisional. But yeah, he held his own in that game against the the Chargers in the wild card. And he did very well. And then when it comes to Smith, Donovan Smith. He had a very good season with the Bucks, and he did pretty well in the Super Bowl. So that goes to show you that both of them tackles was actually good signings by Veach. And we never doubted Veach when it comes to getting offensive linemen. We know that's something he does well. And now it's looking like he done got a good wide receiver in Rasheed Rice, um, Justin Ross. So Brett Veach has actually proven himself. He's proven himself. He's solace in the haters. I was a hater. I ain't gonna lie. And he's solace in me. So... I was, I was more of a hater that gives him his credit, though. I'm not like just a straight-up hater on Brad Beach. I'm a hater that's going to give him his credit, you know. But, yeah, I love how this O-line protected Mahomes. Another thing I seen when Mahomes threw that 100 yards in the first quarter, he was extending out the pocket a lot. He was really extending out the pocket. And that's a sign that Patrick Mahomes is comfortable with this offensive line. 
And we know Mahomes though always extends out the pocket just because he's getting pressured. He just likes to do that. So Mahomes is having fun with this O-line. I'm pretty sure he loves it. And even the backup O-lines are doing pretty good when it comes to the um the yeah, when it comes to like the second team and stuff like that, they're doing pretty well against the Cardinals. So if any injuries go down, man, we comfortable. But yeah, 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 definitely. I love what the O-line is doing. I hope they keep up the good work. And we don't want no breakdowns. We don't want none of that happening because you know how that gets. Breakdowns throughout the season and all that. We don't want none of that happening. We want the O-line to be stable and be good for the whole year so we could see some next-level stuff out of Patrick Mahomes. And I feel like if everything is, if everything goes how it's supposed to go with the offensive line, the defense, and the wide receiver core, then obviously we'll be right back and we'll be right in Vegas holding that Lombardi trophy. So, and that's basically home for the advantage because we own the Las Vegas Raiders. That's our stadium. We have Arrowhead and then we got their stadium because, you know, that's our second stadium. That's our second home right there. So, it'll definitely be good to have a home Super Bowl game. You know how Patrick Mahomes performs at home. He performs very well. And that would definitely be a home Super Bowl game. Hopefully, no Raiders fans in the comments. Um want to be all salty but you just know it's the truth we own y'all and y'all definitely don't want to see us play in y'all stadium for the super bowl because y'all gonna be mad that we won the super bowl and y'all gonna be mad that we're in y'all stadium so yeah but yeah the offensive line is very good um i like how they could handle against speed rushers bull rushers and then creed humphrey is now entering his prime looking like he's gonna be one of the greatest centers to ever do it if he keeps it up trey smith he looks like a very good right guard i want to keep him around Thune, he may leave because I don't know if the Chiefs are going to want to pay him. But I do think we should keep Joe Thune as well because that's another very good player that makes a lot of key plays. And not only is he just a guard, remember, Joe Thune can move around on that offensive line. So I feel like he's very valuable. And I think for O-line, he's still young because O-line could last for a very long time. So I think we should re-sign him. If what is three years, two, four? I think we should, nah, not two, maybe like three to four years. I think we should resign him. I definitely think we should resign him. And I'm going to make a vid on Rasheed Rice. I'm going to make a vid on Justin Ross. I'm going to make a vid on a lot of these. I'm gonna, trust me, the content about to be jumping. Y'all going y'all gonna to want to tune in the Chiefs priority every day because the content is definitely going to be jumping. But yeah, I had to get y'all a quick video. I mean, we're still in the preseason game, so I'm definitely going to come up with more ideas. But I just went to the, in the third quarter, I just went to make this video real quick because I've seen enough from the offensive line. That's all I really needed to see. And I'm definitely going to have some more vid ideas for y'all, though, after the preseason game. Like I said, Justin Ross is balling. Rasheed Rice is balling. They're all balling, you know. But it's me, your boy. Chiefs Priority, and I'm out. Peace.